All right, Tuesday afternoon, had the morning off, taking care of legal stuff and CPA stuff and having a good time. I wouldn't call that fun. This is more like fun. And I was told that we have a routine lizard, or not what, how do they put it? It's a lizard, but it's not a lizard lizard in the room and it needs some work. I'm like, okay, what does not a lizard mean? Well, it's not a water runner dragon or bearded dragon or an iguana. It's just one of those lizards on the wall outside. I'm like, daytime lizard or nighttime lizard? And they said, I think it's a daytime lizard. It is green. I said, okay. So at that point in time, I kind of forget it was an anole. But uh, it turns out that in Mississippi, you are not supposed to have any indigenous animals as pets. But it turns out there is a loophole in the law that says if you own or have a small game hunting permit, you can actually keep any, I think as much as six of any non-threatened, non-protected or regulated animals as pets. So um, this lady hasn't had that yet, but she will get that soon. Um, <laughs> she's been taking care of this guy. If you'll notice that little spot there on his back, that was where he was, oops, sorry guy, where he was actually bitten by a cat once before. So mom has nursed him through injuries in the past. And this is why she got to love this guy. This guy is awesome. Ordinary, if I were to walk outside, these guys run and go crazy. And this guy's like, dude, I love about you. I remember in high school, these kids used to put these on their ears and wear them as earrings. So, uh, and when I was a kid, this was the American chameleon you could get for $3.50 in the mail. So anyway, I, uh, I feel like I owe this guy, and we're going to go ahead and get him fixed up. We have offered Bond the deal of the century for his surgery. This is most likely an oral abscess, um, but we're going to have to put him under anesthesia to lance it and drain it and see what's in there. Um, if it is a tumor, well, we'll probably end up sending off a sample, and that might cost a little bit more, but that's not like I'm making any money off of that, and we'll take it from there. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, that's what it looks like now. Soon we will have him gassed under anesthesia and ready to go. Oh, there you go. That's a good shot. Oh, dude. His nickname should be Quasimodo after this. <laughs> Sorry. That hand shaking is mom laughing, so. Uh... <laughs> All right, I need to get mom to sign some anesthesia consent forms, get me some permission to work on this guy, and then we'll take the next step. All right, that's it for now. Cool. Not all pus cams are large and, and intrusive and that type of thing, but anyway, I uh, wanted you to see it beforehand. Make the camera away for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and lance this buddy here. Oh, yuck. my cracker. I'm going to get one one day. Well, that's it for the pus cam. Uh -oh. All right, there's a buddy post up. See the small right behind the, the whole small hole right behind his ear where the abscess was. It was actually a large blood-filled cyst around. Some, uh, some insulated pus. Um, anyway, we got all that out of there. It's been flushed and cleaned with some antibacterials and even a tiny bit of peroxide was, in it, was put in there just in case it was a gram negative anaerobic and to, uh, to help cauterize the tissues inside, tissues inside there and keep it from, uh, <laughs> from bleeding. And as you can tell, it looks great. And this is our buddy back in his cage. We are peeking to him through his little blades of grass and so forth. Very cool. Awesome case.
it was worth coming into work. One more day. <laughs> All right, here's a little buddy post up again, other side of his head. The guy on the side of his little container. Little critter keeper. He's cute. He's a cute wizard. All right, we're going to send him home with some antibiotics, which we're going to assume we're going to work. And if not, we'll get a culture. And we'll take it from here. All right, very cool.